guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another Team of the Season Silver Player review. Today we're going to be looking at Emil Forbsberg, the Swedish winger from Red Bulls Leipzig. I know I pronounce everything incorrectly. Let me know in the comments below how to pronounce that club properly so that I uh, get it right. Now this guy is one of the most talked about players in the Team of the Season Bundesliga, even though he's from the second division of the Bundesliga. He's one of the most talked about players, and possibly for wrong reasons. Now, Leipzig... Uh, they got bought out by Red Bull, I, as far as I understand. They, some of these facts might be slightly iffy. I've tried to research it, but they got bought out. They've spent a lot of money. The team wasn't very good. And a lot of the people in Germany and around the world don't think this is the right way to do it because obviously Red Bull are essentially just advertising themselves. But, I, you know, Forbesberg had a lot of dislikes on on Foothead yesterday, but people have come out in support of him and he's starting to get more and more likes now because he is an, an exceptional young talent and, it, you know, it's not about the club, it's about the player and I really like this guy. He's been linked with Liverpool. I don't know if anyone in the comments are Liverpool fans, but I'd love to see him in the Premier League. And anyway, let's get into looking at the card. 80 pace, 84 dribbling, 76 shooting, 77 passing, 70 physical. Beautiful four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Love that. He cost me 20k, but you'd probably pick him up for about 15k by the end of the week as he'll drop and drop and drop. And yeah, let's get into looking at his in-game stats. His mental and physical are really good. Obviously, that 91 balance really stands out as something exceptional for someone who's not necessarily that quick. He's only got, you know, his sprint speed is quite a lot lower than his acceleration. Skill attributes are decent as well. You look through them and you think nothing is super high, but nothing is low enough to complain about other than perhaps his long passing, which does seem quite low. I certainly didn't notice that in game. Uh, he can play left mid, left wing, cam. He's medium, medium work rates, which is, again, something I didn't notice either. Anyway, let's start talking about this guy. So, I, before I start, I need to say, I usually play about eight games with a player, and then I, pick, I have lots of clips, and I just pick out the ones I want to use to sort of demonstrate what the player's like. So, he did actually finish some long shots, but they weren't as impressive as, like, dribbling beforehand. So, I think his long shots were really good. I like to show you clips that aren't just one thing, you know? I like to show a bit of dribbling, then a long shot, or a bit of dribbling and a pass. So, this guy is a technical dribbler. That is his trait. And I think that sums him up perfectly. You can get speed dribblers, you can get strength dribblers, and this guy is a technical dribbler. I think he is amazing. He's not the fastest, he's not the strongest, he's not slow, he's not weak, but he's not the fastest or the strongest. But he gets around people with no problem, and that makes him dangerous because he can either go on the wing and he can take it round a man and whip in a really, really nice cross, or he can just go through the middle and make some space for himself and, you know, hit the ball with some decent power and he's going to, you know, he's going to make either a shot or he's going to get a through ball away. He's just dangerous because of that technical ability. Now, I think technical, as I said before, is just, it really sums him up nicely. His finishing, as you can see there, his finishing was so inconsistent. I wouldn't personally say in the box he's particularly deadly. I think his finishing is only about 72, which is a little bit disappointing. But you don't really need it because he can get himself in a good enough position so he can just roll it into the back of the net. His, his agility and his balance, along with the fact he's that technical dribbler, were probably my favourite things about this guy. He would, he would continuously get round people. If he got tackled, as you saw in a few clips, he would just be on the ball. Keep going for it, keep going. It was an absolute workhorse. Another thing I really liked about this guy, a lot of the time when I play a left winger, I put them up at left forward or I put them out on the wing, and yeah, that's it pretty much. You know, what my, that's the position they play. But this guy could easily play left mid as well. He's so versatile down that left-hand side. And if you wanted to play him up front or cam, I'm sure he could play there as well. I've given him an 8.4 out of 10. Now, a lot of people might think he's not as good as they want because he, he is a little bit slower than he, he looks because he's got 80 pace, but his sprint speed is a bit lower. But I think that acceleration stat is so much more important than sprint speed because you burst past someone, they ain't going to catch you. Year. I think this guy is one of my favourite players from the team this season this year. I've not given him a super high score, but as far as personal enjoyment goes, I really, really enjoyed him. 8.4 out of 10 is what I've given him. 76 to a 79. If you can get him in a team, that'd be awesome. What? Who would you play him alongside? Would you play him in a hybrid? What players do you think will partner up well for him? And would you play him at left mid, left wing, or left forward? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know in the comments for end chat today. Which silver player deserved an upgrade but didn't get one? Now, obviously, Forbesberg, uh, he got he was a 72 card. He got upgraded to 74, and then he got his team of the season, which is also a 74. But, yeah, which 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 players do you think really deserved a, an upgrade but didn't get one? Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.